Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how to develop a visitor management solution with AppSheet. Let's briefly go through how the workflow for this app. First, visitors walk in registration at the guard house. Second, notification is sent to the visiting person for getting approval. Third, guard allows the approved visitor to go in. Fourth, after the visit is completed, the person in charge should update the visitor record as visited. Fifth, visitor with visited status are required to sign out. In this video, we go through the functionality of the app first. While the workshop, I will share in the next videos. Alright, let's check how it works. This is the dashboard for Guard. At the left panel, it is a visitor list which listing. Pending approval, approved, or rejected visitor. And we may register new walk-in visitor here. While click on the record at the visitor list. The particular visitor detail will be shown at the right panel. Alright, let's register a new walk-in visitor. First, take a picky tour of the visitor's ID. This can be visitor identity card. But for demo popos, I have created few dummy identity card. Once the id image is captured, it will auto fill in the name and ID number. Contact number. Email. And then visiting person, let's select Ronald. Visiting purpose. Then take a picture of the visitor. Lastly, visitor signature. And then, save it. This is the newly registered visitor. And he is waiting approval from the visiting person, Ronald. A notification is sent to Ronald. This is the newly registered visitor, and it is only display in Ronald's dashboard. Ronald may approve or reject the visitor. Let's reject Fujiwara and approve Raymond. The approved visitor will remain in the list, while the rejected visitor is removed. Let's check the guard's dashboard. Visitor Fujiwara is rejected. No further action needed, the data will auto-remove from the list after the day. Visitor Raymond is approved. So guard may let Raymond go in. Let's back to Ronald's dashboard. Once the visit session is over, Ronald may update the record as visited. Similar as rejected visitor, the visit advice store also will remove from the list. Let's back to guard's dashboard. So Raymond is visited. Guard may proceed with taken and out image and get the signature from visitor. Signed out visitor will auto remove from the list. As you may see a visitor, Thomas is still pending approval. But it doesn't show in Ronald's dashboard. It is because Thomas is visiting Tommy. Only Tommy have the right to approve or reject the visitor. We have a visitor log book in the menu. Guards visitor log book is listing all registered visitor. Regardless visiting person or status. While the visitor log book for the visiting person. Let's check Ronald's visitor log book. It only listing visitor that visiting him. And in Ronald's menu, he can register to new in-house staff. 
The in-house staff is grouped by guard and office. Let's register a new staff. Enter staff ID. Name. Contact number. Group, office. This group will list it in the visiting person list in the visitor form. Email. Then save it. Let's check whether the new registered staff is listed in the visitor form. Yes, here it is, the newly registered staff, Jenny. Alright, that's all for this video. We end here today. The workshop will be in the next video. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Have you watched our last video? Which describes the function of our visitor management app. If you are not, we highly recommend that you may watch it first. The link is shared at the top right corner. In this video, we will go through the data setting. To proceed with this, you may download the Google Sheet template that we shared in the last video. You may find it in the comment section, we pin it at the top. Alright, let's start the workshop today. In this app, we have two tables. The in-house staff table and the visitor table. Let's check the in-house staff table first. There are six columns in this table with one virtual column. Set the record ID column as shown. Set the staff ID column as shown. Set the name column as shown. Set the contact number column as shown. Set the group column as shown. Set the email column as shown. The last column is a virtual column, which will auto created by app sheet. Alright, in-house staff table is ready. Let's proceed to visitor table. Set the record ID column as shown. Set the name column as shown. Set the ID image column as shown. Set the ID column as shown. Set the contact number column as shown. Set the email column as shown. Set the visiting person column as shown. The data is sourced from a read-only slice. It's see because. We don't want the guard to add new visiting person from the drop-down list. Let's check the slice first. Set the slice as shown. All right. Let's continue with the next column for visitor table. 
set the visiting purpose column as shown. Set the picture in column as shown. Set the signature in column as shown. Set the date time in column as shown. Set the picture out column as shown. This column is only shown if the status is visited. Set the picture out column as shown. This column is only shown if status is visited. Set the date time out column as shown. Set the status column as shown. Lastly, create a virtual column as shown. Alright, data is ready, let's proceed to create the slice. Just now we have to go through the setting for the in-house staff slice. Now, let's proceed the slices for visitor table. The first slice is used for the visiting person's dashboard. Set the slice as shown. Next slice is for the guard's dashboard. Set the slice as shown. Next slice is for the guard's visitor logbook. Set the slice as shown. Next slice is for the visiting person's visitor logbook. Set the slice as shown. All right, all data and slices is ready. In next video, we will continue the action and user interface. We end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. In the last video, we have covered the data and slices setting. If you haven't watched it, just click the link that is shared at the top right corner. And today, we will continue the workshop by starting with the action setting. Alright, let's check the action setting. 
Today, we will go through the approving, rejecting and visited action. And for the update signed out date and status, we will come back while we go through the bot in next video. Let's check the approving action. Set the action as shown. Let's duplicate the action by clicking the copy button. Edited the duplicated action as shown. Let's duplicate the action. Edit the duplicated action as shown. All action is ready, let's proceed with the user interface. We have two sets of user interface, one is for guard, and another one is for office. We will go through them one by one. Let's start with the user interface for guard. Set the dashboard as shown. Guards dashboard is ready, let's proceed to the view entries. The visitor guard and visitor guard detail. Set the visitor guard as shown. Set the visitor guard detail as shown. Set the visitor guard form as shown.
Guards dashboard is ready. Let's proceed with the guards visitor logbook. Set the visitor logbook as shown. Let's check the two view entries. Set the visitor logbook as shown. Set the visitor log book detail as shown. Alright, guards user interface is completed. Let's proceed to the office's user interface. Set the office's dashboard as shown. Let's check the two view entries. Set the visitor office as shown. Set the visitor office detail as shown. The dashboard is ready, let's proceed to the visitor log book. Set the visitor log book menu as shown. Let's check the two view entries. Set the visitor log book office as shown. Set the visitor log book office detail as shown. Set the in-house staff master as shown.
the detail and form for in-house staff, we leave it as default. Alright, we have complete the user interface. So we will end here today. In the next video, we will go through the bot, format rules and OCR. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today we will continue the workshop for the Visitor Management app. We will check the bot, format rules and OCR. Have you watched the intro and the workshop part 1 and part 2? The link is shared at the top right corner. Alright, let's start with the format rules first. This format rules is to make the user interface more friendly, but it is optional. You may skip to the next chapter as this chapter is not necessary. Set the format rules as shown. The format rules is ready, let's proceed to automation. There are two bots created. Let's check the sending notification bot first. Set the bot as shown.
Next, check the update signed out bot. Set the bot as shown. This action is the one that we skip in the last video. Ok done, let's proceed to the last setting, the OCR. Before we set this OCR, we need at least 4 sample images and, the value that should be extracted from them. Once the sample image is ready, then proceed to set the OCR as shown. Alright, we have completed the workshop. We will end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.